Hello, I'm Betty Herbert and today I'm going to show you how to add a box for email subscriptions onto your blog using MailChimp. Um, now for those of you that are using a WordPress.com blog, uh, you'll already have the option of a built-in widget that you can drag into your sidebar, which is this area here on my blog, it might be on the other side on yours, um, that will let you add subscribers straight away. But the beauty of using MailChimp instead is that it allows you to collect richer data from people and to do more with it so uh, you're able to send your own mail outs as well as the automatic ones that WordPress send. And as you can see I already use one of these on my own blog at bettyherbert.com. It looks a bit like this, I could have it in a different place, I could have it bigger or smaller, uh, but essentially it's a very simple form. Okay, to get started you need to go to mailchimp.com uh, and ask to create a new account. Uh, it will take you through a series of steps which I won't go through now because they're quite self-explanatory but eventually you will land on your dashboard. From there go to lists, create list and uh, this is the information that you're going to use to identify what, what's going on here when you log in. So give it a name that you understand, Hope and Anchor Subscribers. Uh, a default from name, so this is the name that your well in caps, that your emails will be sent from. And then a de default reply to email, so if people post back, they'll be going to hello at hopeandanchor.co.uk. The default subject line for your email is quite a handy thing to do. Um, I'm going to put news from Hope and Anchor. Um, you can always change this for specific emails, but if you're feeling lazy, it will go out automatically like this. And MailChimp always asks you to remind people how they got onto your list, uh, which is a great thing for stopping people from feel like, feeling like they've been spammed. Um, so you are on this list because you signed up at hopeandanchor.co.uk. Uh, MailChimp will automatically provide an option to unsubscribe. Uh, you can also be emailed when people subscribe or unsubscribe if your ego can take it. Okay, so I'm going to press save. So I've set up my list once this is saved. It's taking a while. And from there I click on design sign up forms. Now as I said, I'm going to show you how to make the most simple kind of sign up form here. Um, if you go into the Build It tab, which it takes you onto straight away, you can make something much more complex, but that's not what we're doing here today. And what I'm going to show you is going to be adequate for most people. So I click on the Share It tab, and then on the right-hand side, create HTML code, code for a small subscribe form. So I'm clicking there. And this is a preview of the form you'll get. Now, as you can see, it's nothing elaborate. It's literally asking people to put their email address in. You may want to do something more complicated, but this is going to be enough for us at Hope and Anchor, I think. So I click to highlight all of this code in here, copy it using Command C if you're on Apple or Control C if you're on a PC. Then I go to my own blog, log into the dashboard, select widgets under appearance in the sidebar and then I drag a text widget over from the little available store, I've not done that very well have I, don't, into my main sidebar. That opens itself up automatically. I simply paste using control V or command V the HTML code into the text box, press save and then visit my site and I should see, yes there it is, a lovely simple mailing address form.